$3 trillion. That's the estimated value of what heirs of baby boomers will inherit over the next two decades. But what's the best way to handle an inheritance? Gail Cohen is the chair of Fiduciary Trust Company International. And Gail, thanks so much for being here today. Glad to be here. What does somebody do? What's the first thing you should do if you find out you have just come into some inheritance? You probably uh, should be consulting a financial advisor mm -hmm. if this is the kind of uh, inheritance or this is the type of amount of money that's really going to make a difference in your life. Um, so uh, financial advisors will be able to help you decide what to do with the money that you've inherited. Probably don't do anything right away. Take a little time. Absolutely. Don't rush into any anything right. at that time. Are there, are there things, big mistakes that people commonly make? One of the biggest mistakes that people make is to in, invest the money in without doing due diligence or the kind of research they need to do into what kind of investment they're making, mm -hmm. who they're investing with, um, and, uh, and therefore that could be subject to loss or... What would I know? What would be some red flags that would tell me, okay, wait a second, uh, buyer beware, because you're going to have a lot of people pitching you a lot of stuff if you that, suddenly have some money. Absolutely. Well, you should be looking for a financial advisor who comes from a reputable company, um, and they should be subject to the fiduciary rule which we've heard a lot about in the news, but that really means that this is a person who's required by law to be looking out for your interests first. Uh, some states have inheritance taxes. Uh, some are, are things that we should be looking at separately. Do I need to report it? If I have a cash inheritance, do I need to report it as income? So that's a great question. There's in typ typically not. Mm -hmm. um, you, inheritances... Items that you inherit under a will are typically not subject to income tax. If, on the other hand, you're the beneficiary of a retirement plan mm -hmm. um, or an IRA that you get directly, that might be subject to income tax because it was a tax-deferred vehicle to begin with. Gail, thanks for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure.